Well, this is John Black, super chemist. Hopefully, we're here to make some sodium methanoate. Uh, we made sodium ethanoate on another video. I'm making it pretty much the same exact way. And I think I made another salt of a carboxylic acid. That's what this is. This is a carboxylic group. It's one carbon, so it's methanoic acid. Um, and the salt of it would be sodium methanoate. Um, we're going to make it with some baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. You can see it takes two H's here and one O off of there, and you got H2O, and you're left with CO2. And that's what you get, this, which basically breaks down to water and carbon dioxide. Uh, now, in the last video, I made three, I made, wait, I made 5% of a three mole solution of the uh, formic acid, okay? So I'm doing the same thing here. I'm taking the molar weight of this, or mass of that, which is 84 grams. And I'm going to take that times three, which would be 252 grams. But I only did 5%. So I take that times 0 0.05. And you can see I go down to 12.6 grams. So that's, if I am got 100% yield, which I doubt I did, I should be able to put 12.6 grams in there, and then it should stop bubbling, because it's going to bubble out CO2. So let's check it out and see. All right, now I distilled more of that out from the last video. So I I have more than 8 milliliters. I distilled out a whole bunch to make sure that I got it all. So I want to get a good yield for this. Definitely getting fizzy. Fizzy like tech. That's a good sign. Like an idiot, I should have another, like this on a plate or a dish that can hold it when it overflows, but I don't. You know what I'm going Still fizzing. I'm going to start this up for a while. Now I'm getting like a pH of 8. So I'm going to dump in the rest of the acid. I shouldn't have put this in the refrigerator. It's all cold. Definitely fizzing.
uh, well, I'm going to stir it up until it stops fizzing before I add any more. Okay, now on the last video, for me to have 100% uh, conversion or yield, I would have needed to react 12.6 grams of sodium bicarbonate with it. But I only reacted somewhere between 10 and 11.6 grams. Okay, uh, so that's between 79.4 and 92%. Take the average, it's 85.25 percent, 85 and a quarter percent. So 85 percent isn't the greatest, but it's pretty good. It's all right. I like it. All right, I heated this up, and I'm gonna pour it in this thing and let it cool down and evaporate. It's nice and hot. It has a lot of surface area. It should evaporate within a day or so. All right, there it is. I'm gonna filter out that water. Well, as you can see, they're beautiful white crystals. All right, on my last video, when I made uh, formic acid or methanoic acid, right, if I would have had 100% yield, then my sodium and 100% yield on my sodium methanoate on this video, then I'd have 10.2 grams, right? I'm just guessing about this trihydrate because that's what sodium ethanoate is. And I looked it up on the internet. I couldn't really get a perfect answer, so I'm unsure. But if it is, there's another 2.7 grams of a trihydrate, which would be 12.9 grams. Okay. Now we already know that I only got 85% yield on the last video, so I took it that times 0.85. This video I got an 80% yield because I took 0.8 times that and I got 8.772 grams and the weight of my product was 8.8 .8, so that's pretty much the same same thing so I got an 85% yield on the last video making methanoic acid and 80% yield on this video making sodium methanoate from that methanoic acid anyways audience uh, always remember science is great